probably the best ink color. Inkling actually has some solid alts. Yes, I'm gonna wait. No, go back. Okay, thank you. Toon Link is like the colors are nice on the alts, but it's just like it's boring. Yeah. There's like two or three that are like There's like the, the dark one, like the evil well, one. No, no, no. There's like the uh, one has a different color hat and tunic. Mm. Anyway. They all have different colored hats and tunics, but you know what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, but I, cause I can't think of the skin right now, but yeah. God, you did. Game one, PS2. Yes. This uh, is round two. Yeah, I think it's round two. This is round two, because I would be round three. Um, Maybe he's counting round one as like a buy round, though, because I know there were like a couple. No, I think it's still round two. It's still round two. Anyway. Either way, Jay's off to a, a good first 25 uh, seconds, but you know. Yeah, and immediately went for it. Uh, like a little drop down back I think it was. We dropped on down there. That's what we were talking about earlier, is that like, Toon Link is exploitable off stage. Maybe yep. the other ones are a little more difficult to pin down, but Toon Link's pretty vulnerable out there. Definitely, yeah. Ooh, good air dodge. And yeah, each... Ooh, that was a dangerous option. Gonna get the jab. I feel like you could have held that a little longer, but I'm not the inkling man. Maybe he wants to keep inking, you know? Oh, you're smart, yeah. Can that you... up air is such a good juggle tool. Lingers forever. And we already see that roller coming in. Do you think it would kill, like, about now? I mean, I, I trust I... that it would, you know? Maybe, yeah. Like, if he's going for it. The inkling man is looking for it. I believe them. Especially if they don't get a good mash off. Like, yeah. Nice, nice coverage yeah, on the roll, yeah. Now he is inkless. Yeah. He does need to go. Okay, yeah. well, he gets the stock, so he will get his ink back. Yeah, the off-stage interactions in this game have already been like a huge part of it. As I guess we we projected. Yeah. And this might be a matchup where it's a little annoying to get ink during the uh, while your opponent is like on stage with you because yeah. Toon Link can throw so many things sure. at you. But. At the same time, Toon Link's also pretty slow at like setting his stuff up. Yeah. Like if he runs away, picks up a bomb, you can you you throw some ink. And yeah, this is really good ledge pressure. Another thing, I mean, Toon Link isn't the greatest at killing, so uh, I'm not super surprised that once Colorado took that first stock, he's kind of running away with it. Like Toon Link wants the bomb confirmed, maybe like an up smash on like a, a poorly spaced or timed aerial on shield, uh, maybe like an F tilt at ledge, but that won't kill now. Could uh, I was gonna say it could have been something there. Puppy can upper. probably kill near ledge. Puppy back, can probably back kill throw, pretty kill solidly yeah. from most of the screen right now. But he's got to worry about not losing his stock first because. Yeah. In a bad spot. 118. Ooh, nice. I like that wave balance, I think. Well, with it, I love that there's just zero concern about having ink at all. Yeah. For he's just hitting him. Just knows, like, okay, if I can outbox him, we're fine. And even if Colorado loses this stock, you get your ink back. You know? Like, you feel pretty fine. Up throw. That and, will go. Yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Not going to lie. I did too until I saw him like grab it's, another Yeah, another yeah, game. right. Like it felt right. And we'll see if Jay's can hold on to the stock a little bit longer. Like he's already reached the like past the hard to kill percent. Like now he's just at most moves will kill. Yeah, yeah especially if you're that back here. Some really ga great uh, edge guarding from Colorado. Not gonna be able to get a ton off that. Like, I feel like those up tilt strings are not super great in terms of, like, true combos. It's just, like, the mix-ups you get off it. Yeah. Really big. Or if it's a character that's kind of floatier yeah. and, and gets stuck up there, that could be a problem. Or fast follower. Or a fast follower that just, like, you combo. get him at the right percent. And Colorado, yeah, running away with this. Looking for a roller, but not going to get it. I mean, this is probably a matchup where you're not going to get very many because yep. your opponent's just spending so much time away from you, but has enough to go for another one. And yeah, oh, that'll, that'll do it. Said. No jump. Yeah, and that down air into the blast zone. Yeah, that started off looking not too bad, but I mean, that's how a lot of matches go. Like, the first stock stays pretty close. Uh, one player gets the first stock, and you know, it's, it's hard to kill in this game. Yeah. If, if you're not a character with, like, kill confirms built in, if you don't have, like, a, an, an up throw up air, or an up throw yeah. back air, or an up tilt back air, or a jab back air, something in the back air, you're probably not killing incredibly early. Yeah, it sounds like a complete no-brainer to say that taking stocks is important in this game, but like having a stock lead versus just having a massive percent lead is a huge, such a big difference. Wonder what kind of stage we're gonna go to. Small battlefield. I mean, honestly, I don't really know what you want. Oh. Like, I, I don't like. I could see a bigger stage being good because you get to run away more, but at the same time, like your projectiles don't control as much of the screen. 
Yeah, and then on that last game, I felt like James was doing a little better when he had more breathing room, so I'm surprised to see this pick. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like Colorado was, like, rushing him down pretty well, honestly. He was, like, in his face with back airs, uh, punishing all the bomb pulls, getting him off stage. What a noise. <laughs> Yeah, this going about how we thought it would. I mean, you're, you're just stuck next to him the whole time now. Yeah. Get the up air out of field. One thing that James has been... Ooh, has been struggling with is even if he's not necessarily losing neutral, like, he, like Colorado's out neutraling him, but really the conversions are where he's losing. Like, he's getting so... He's doing... Colorado is doing so much damage per hit, and James is just getting, like, one stray hit and not much off of it. Yeah. Part the, of that's the character, like, because Inkling just has bigger combos than Toon Link. Like, yeah, the combo tree is, is more prevalent. Get the grab there. Looking a little bit better okay. this game, but... And if you can get a ledge trap going here... Nice. Special. No jump. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea, but it... Could have done the other way, maybe. Do it yeah. the other way? Well, I, it might not hit because... Yeah, yeah. Like, the first hit is far out. scoop, you know? Yeah. Before they're gonna take it, but... Not a bad deficit. Definitely not as bad as when we saw game one. Yeah, definitely brought some life to this game. Was was starting off the game a little uh, a little lifeless, but ooh, gets the parry, but no punish. Tries to up smash there, yeah. kind of getting greedy. And you're seeing a lot of grabs on the platform as well from Jade. Yeah, and this is where close games become uh, difficult leads to over overcome. He is completely pink right now. Yeah, anything's gonna hurt. It's gonna do like 14, 15 percent. Throws the bomb up, gets punished for it. Pulls a bomb, but uh, or no, he didn't pull a bomb. What a good reaction. Yep, he's been really good with those down smashes. Yeah. And they, I mean, they've been doing a ton of work. Okay. Who is that stock? But if you're Colorado, I don't think you, you mind very I mean, you're much. Up, you're up on full stock, and Toon Link isn't like the, the craziest of comeback characters. Not he can be difficult to kill, but that's really all he has going for him in terms of comeback back here. Yeah, not gonna, like, deal 70 and start running away with this yeah. by any means. He's not gonna, I mean, maybe he spikes though. you through the stage, like, that's the one way he could take an early stock. Other than that, you know, you're, you're chilling if you put yourself out of that position. And these backers are just beating James down. Yeah, drop his shield there. Down smash again. Jeez. It's just such a good option. It covers the neutral getup, it covers the roll, and that's that's a lot as of things. As long as you have good timing, you know, you're set. And, like, if you, like it can probably cover jump sometimes, too, and it's not like you're getting punished for it. Like, it's, it's not a move with a lot of lag. Yeah. Weird edge guard attempt. I think you just kind of chased him off stage a little carelessly, but, you know, that's he was fun. up so much that it doesn't really matter. And now you're at the point where any roller's going to kill you. Yeah, that's going to kill you. Tried and true. We see, we saw a lot of those. Actually, like, everyone's stopping and watching. Yeah, I mean, but, I, I feel like at that point you got to mix it up if you're Jabe's, like with those, because he was either neutral get up in your like those were his almost his two exclusive ledge options. Yeah. And like, whether you stay on the ledge a little longer because he wasn't spacing it to cover uh, ledge hang, or or just try to jump, uh, you you got to be able to get around those down yeah. smashes. Like I, I don't know, going into a, a match, you have to know like what your opponent's major tool to keep you on ledge or to mess with you is, and. I have another, so we were talking about